Hello friends, this is Satvinder Bhatia from Sukhmani Immigration Services, Brampton, Canada. I'm a regulated and licensed Canadian immigration consultant. Today, it's a very, very special video because there is a new announcement which has been done by Honorable Minister Sean Fraser. What is the announcement? What are the details? I'll share everything with you. But before that, I request if you are new to the channel and have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. We talk a lot about Canadian immigration news, update tips and tricks on this channel. If you like the video, please share it with your family and friends so that they can also benefit. And please press the bell icon so this video comes to you immediately when we upload. If you are an aspirant of coming to Canada or your file is under process for Canada, this is the channel you must subscribe to. So, Without further delay, let's move on to a very important announcement. This announcement is done by Minister and the Minister is Immigration Minister Honorable Sean Fraser. So Sean Fraser announced few important steps for family reunification. So family reunification is very, very high on government agenda. So in government agenda, Family reunification comes next right after economic immigration. So family reunification is actually the second biggest, second biggest class in immigration. This much importance it is there. So after economic immigration, in economic immigration you have express entry, PNP, pilot programs, all this comes into economic immigration. But second biggest category is your family class and under the family class there are two main categories so if you look at the quota the quota allocated for spouses and children is 78,000 78,000 and for parents and grandparents it is 28,500 together 106,000 so this is big is the quota so second biggest category now what happens there are parents and grandparents i'm not going to talk because parents and grandparents the government already have existing pool so they are not opening up the new parents and grandparents sponsorship and they have given a relaxation for super visa now it can be done for seven years so i have a complete video covering that super visa if you have not seen you can see that now the question is spouses and children so what happens Spouses and children, so spouses, they apply, so somebody gets married back home, right? So he sponsors, he's a PR card holder or a citizen, he sponsors and the spouse comes to Canada. The spousal category, the announcement which is done is the spousal TRV has now become very, very easy. And there was a challenge, the spousal category you know it's 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 a very very straightforward category so if a person is a pr card holder or a citizen he marries back back home and then some you know uh, spouse comes to canada there are no requirements in terms of ielts no vas is required no ielts is required no education is required no funding is required because it is a spousal category so the only problem is spousal application when you apply for PR, it takes minimum one year and sometimes one and a half years also. So that one year is very, very painful. So people, what they do, there is an interim year. Okay, so what we can do is we can apply for TRV. So we have applied PR application, but we can apply for a visitor visa. So she can or he can come to Canada and stay together so this was the thought process but problem the problem is the TRB application very very high refusal rate is there for spousal TRB application and the reason the reason is one and only one reason that you will not come back home which is true you are not applying to come back to home because you already have a PR application. The problem is those two applications are treated independently. 
they are treated independently there is no link the visa officer do not see that link they have a pr application they are supposed to come to canada anyways but in the meantime they have provide they are asking for a visitor visa but that is the main reason for refusal that you will not return back home now the new change which has been done and the new change is done is very high approval rate so the announcement by honorable minister is that now very very high approval rate will be provided faster processing 30 day within 30 day processing and you will be able to come to canada very quickly and advanced analytics is used so advanced analytics is used to identify okay you already have a pr application if you already have a pr application no problem we will provide you with visitor visa so you can quickly come to canada so this new change is first type of change which is happening there is a second change also which is open work permit so open work permit will be provided spouses and dependents are now able to apply and receive a open work permit as they submit their pr application under spousal class or family class so you know what this thing was already there but it was only for inland applications so spousal applications are basically two types inland outland so inland application is suppose a person a pr card holder or a citizen marries a trv person or a temporary resident so that way that is called inland application outland applications are when a pr card holder or citizen marries a person who is outside canada so this thing was already available for inside canada applications but now it is extended to outside canada also so third point which is that open work permit extension and this extension is for those whose work permits are expiring between august 1st and end of 2023 so anyone who has a work permit expiring open work permit expiring between 1st august 2023 and 31st december 2023 can ask for extension so these are the three main changes out of this the main and most important change is easy spousal tr b application so if you have a uh, already applied for a pr application and you want to quickly come to canada you can approach us we can file your spousal visitor visa and you can come here to canada very very quickly so again if you need to discuss your file or your case with us you can book an appointment with us our office is located in brampton address email id phone number everything is shared right here with you and very important if you have still not subscribed please consider subscribing we talk lot about immigration and our team puts lots of effort in getting all this information to you thank you very much for watching the video thanks